Valley City Brewing. Uh, Going to do a little bit of bottling today out of Keezer. Uh, told some people last year I was going to get a video out about this uh, adapter I have for the spout handles that uh, allow you to fill up the bottles right off the keg and keeping it pressurized without a lot of head build up. So, um, with that said, Here it is right here. It's a, uh, a rack and cane with one of those bungs. Just press down over the rack and cane and a short piece of hose off the top of the, the rack and cane. This uh, goes down in the bottle. And what you do is you push down the bottle, creating pressure inside the bottle. Open the tap, let it fill up and you keep burping the rubber on top until the bottle fills all the way up. Turn off the faucet handle, put your cap on, cap it, you're done. So come on in and uh, I'll give you a close up of what's gonna go on. So first you wanna make sure that the uh, tap's clean and make sure that we're not gonna pull any sediment out of the bottom of the keg first time we pull on this. What I do is give about four little hits on here. Make sure that we don't have any sediment in the keg. In the bottom is going to come out with that first pour. I grab a bottle of sanitizer. And I go ahead and flush out the up on that. So we now we know that there's no sediment in the cake and that the tap faucet is sanitized. And I got a little five gallon bucket full of uh, sanitizer right here that I'll dip to make sure I sanitize everything. This inserts inside. Got to work it in there. But it goes up in there and it stays in there real nice. So now, just like regular bottling, and make sure that we have some sanitizer and a bottle cleanser. Put a few caps in the uh, sanitizer. Got the bottle sanitized. Put the bottle on to the bottling one. You open the tap. So about this point, the pressure inside the bottle becomes the same as what I'm pushing my carbonation with. And what I do is I just bleed out a little bit of air, a little bit of air at a time. Until we get up to the neck of the bottle. And once we get to there, we turn it off. This where it gets a little bit messy. Just get a little bit of head off the top of the bottle. We wait for the water, for the rest of the beer to drain back into the. Uh, actually, it's not going to drain in. So we get another bottle ready. And here comes the foam. Do the same thing with this one. Put it on there, make sure it fits nice and tight inside that lid. Turn on our beer. Virtually no car no uh, head on this at all coming up. So I bleed out a little bit of air, bleed out a little bit of air, 
bleed out a little bit of air, bleed out a little bit of air, it's coming up, so we get a little bit of foam up there, turn up the tap handle, we drop the bottle back down, the bottle of beer, the bottle level inside the, the beer level inside the bottle goes back down. But once we get that past there, the air bubbles go back up inside there and it fills up the right level. So now we start up with another one. Put that one nice and sanitized. Take that off, put that one back onto there, push it back up on there, open up the tap again, this is my mother pumpkin pumpkin ale, that will be taken to the homebrew Wednesday homecoming this weekend. And that's all there is for that. And this time, we'll put a cup underneath it. Put that up there. Seen this part before. That's your capper. Place a cap on there. And on top of the bottle. Cap. Bottle. Cap. Squeeze. Bottle. Cap. Come over the other side and uh, I'll show you how it fills up in the bottle. Pour myself a nice glass of Bumbleberry. It's a uh, local brewery, Fatheads. It's a Bumble uh, blueberry infused beer. Really tasty. So, just got to pack up three of the apple ciders. Pumpkin beers. So we can share them with some of the brew tubers. Cheers. Have a good one.